Hello there, <clears throat> pardon me. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs. And we're gonna just kind of feel through the energy and see what's popping. I do wanna talk about a couple of things first, announcements, my meet and greet tickets um, are available on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com or on Eventbrite, just look up Saltwater Hills Tarot. It's gonna be next month in Sonoma County, Wine Country, Petaluma, and I'm so excited. It's my first one in four years, but it's my fifth meet and greet. So super excited to meet you guys. Check out the tickets. I also just today, it's been a couple years that I've been back and forth on this, but I have finally decided to do spiritual guidance coaching. And I posted information on that on my Instagram stories. If you're interested, go take a look. XI underscore Missy underscore XI. Okay, very limited spots for that. So if you're interested, please make sure you email me so that you can be invoiced to secure your spot. I would not wait on that, okay? All right, so the energy we have is the magician magic. Because you also have ritual, which says magic there as well too. Ooh, the vortex, opening cycles and threshold. Someone here creates magic. You know what I mean? They're like a they're like a fucking alchemist. They're like a, they're like a magician. Whatever they do, they create magic. That's just what I keep hearing them say. And it's the masculine because there he is. It's not to say the feminine doesn't create magic. She is magic. You know what I'm saying? But there's something about this masculine coming through. He might step through this portal and come through and you see his face and you finally meet. See that symbolic right there because he's in the shadow. The portal here, this opening, this threshold tells me that they're about to step through. You're about to meet X marks a spot soon. Um, or if you already if you already know them, they, they reveal themselves. This ritual card talks about spell work, manifest magic, but I'm telling you it's magic. They're a magician. They create magic. This would tell me that they are a master of their craft somehow. They're not a rookie at what they do. This is an alchemist, they're a transmuter. They take things and they transmute it into something else. Um, quick example, like they take grapes and turn it into wine. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, they alchemize, they know how to transmute, take something, turn it into something else. It's a fucking magi magician. Bitch, it's magic again. The card magic itself, I told you it was magic. I thought you can just feel it. People think like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing or I'm just pull shit out of my ass. I'm telling you, the, the ritual card itself, look at those three words to choose from. And all I could see was magic. And then the magician, you have trickster, illusion, deception. I was like, no, it's magic because it's magic. And then the magic card comes out because why? Because it's fucking magic. It's this charming, enchanted and bewitched. And they are all of these things. They're charming, but they're charmed by you. It was enchanting. The, it was a magical encounter. I was enchanted to meet you. They're bewitched. They find you to be almost hypnotic. There's like this hypnotic energy around it. And it feels... like a long time coming. It's gonna feel like it's sudden and whatever, but it's really a long time coming. It's funny too, because my next bracelet is my enchanted bracelet. It's gonna be with rainbow tiger's eye beads. I'm gonna have a magic moon water. And it's my last two items that I'm gonna do for 2023. And it's fucking called enchanted because we keep feeling this enchanted energy coming through. They were, they're enchanted by you. They feel charmed, but it's vice versa. It's, it's mutual. You know, sometimes you'll meet someone and they're into you and you're like, mm -mm, that's not it. These two people are enchanted with each other. They're both mutually interested. You know what I mean? These two souls... It's like they manifested each other. 
I wished for you too. It's very practical magic. It's like listing all of these qualities of a man or a woman that you almost feel like are impossible because they don't exist. And then it exists and, and it comes to fruition. It's the one blue eye, one green eye, rides a pony backwards, carries a star, flips pancakes. And then she meets him and it's like, whoa, this is impossible. They exist, it's a fucking unicorn. These two people have manifested each other, I'm telling you. And even if not consciously, it doesn't mean that the masculine sat there and said, I would like to meet somebody with one blue eye, one hazel. I guess they didn't do that. And they may not have, but they may have prayed for someone like you. When they were young, maybe they thought to themselves, wow, my dream woman or my dream man is blah, 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 blah. And that just so happens to be you. And and coincidentally, but not really, you, you guys are each other's dream fucking partners. It's like a dream coming true. It's like, um, it's very savage garden. I think I dreamed you into life. Sage and the breakthrough. I mean, Sage, this is very, it's a very protective sort of an energy. That's the masculine's energy. He feels like a protector. I mean, if you fall into the healer category, healers need protectors. So it would be natural that your person would have a protective energy, very Archangel Michael. That's their vibe. Very protective. Someone who would always have your back. I and mean, that could be something that some of you manifested. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've been with partners in the past where they like left me hanging. They just didn't support me. You know, when people would fucking come and tell me some shit, they would just leave me to, to deal with it on my own. And I could, but it would be great to have my partner stick up for me, support me. It's like Archangel Michael energy coming through with them. And then the breakthrough is this, is the reveal. It reveal, it, it's their face. You know, you feel them. I know you don't know all the details. I know I feel that way too. I don't know the details. I don't know his name. I don't know his profession. Although I have an inkling, right? We might get like intuitive hits, but we really don't know the fine details of the 3D muggle, but we know them. We know their, the, the way they feel intuitively and energetically. We know the way they, we can feel them. We can feel their soul. We can feel their heart. We know their characteristics. We know they're witty or they're this or they're charming or they're that. Like we know them, but we don't know them. So this is that reveal of the face. You, you, you meet, you see their face, get a face and a name. I, I mean, I got the chills. It's like the great reveal. And it feels like you, like, like you may have seen them before and go, I knew it. I mean, when you were 17, you're like, oh my God, I've always had a crush on that fucker. I, I knew it and people thought I was crazy. I thought I was crazy. I fucking knew it. Or you just knew it that you would get everything you've ever wanted. Even if you've never seen them before, never knew they existed before. It's that feeling of, I knew it. I knew it would be you. Not only you, you know, it would be them because you manifested them. Right. But did you get an inkling of it prior? I talked about that thing where, um, I saw it that Leanne Rimes took a picture with her current husband when she was like 14 years old. They weren't dating or anything. It was random. <laughs> And look, they ended up married. And I saw that like this past weekend as I don't see things by accident like that. Not usually. Is it an old wish? I mean, and maybe it's not even a wish, but maybe, maybe she met him and was like, oh my God, he's still hot. He's still handsome. Oh my God. Who knows? It just was weird that I saw that King of Swords. Yeah. This person really holds their cards close to their chest. They're just not the kind of person that Let's everybody in the room know what they're thinking and feeling. They're kind of quiet. Quiet ones are the dangerous ones. Nobody want to be the loudest in the room. Loudest in the room, weakest in the room. You've heard that before, right? I truly feel like that. Loudest in the room, always the weakest. This one's quiet. It doesn't mean that he's a mute and he's boring. It just means he's quiet. He's observant. This is, a, this is someone who's very good in business, right? The king of swords. They're very practical, they're logical, they're very business oriented, they're very smart, intellectual. 
that's what this person is. They're smart. They're intellectual. Their whole life, it has been going great, but there's a missing thing. Like, oh, well, meaning like they always come in second place. You know what I'm saying? Or like they've always come so close, but not really. They always felt like they almost had it, but they didn't. They always felt like there was something a little bit missing. It never could come through fully because they weren't fully aligned. They were always with the wrong person. Um, never listened to their gut. It's almost like this person in the past, their true nature is brave and courageous. Like they are fucking super courageous. But in one area of their life, they have not been. And, and, and I'm telling you, it's love because it's always it. It's always emotions and love. So they're really brave, courageous in career and in life and whatever, but not in love. You can just feel it. It comes up as king of swords. They're very aloof, very emotionally detached. It's the one area of their life that they've held back and they've been fearful, not courageous. They may have played it really safe in love, been with someone very safe where it was very comfortable. The person didn't really push them or, or it was just very like, you know, beige, vanilla, if you will. But there's something about this magician where he's not meant to be with a person like that. He's meant to be with the high priestess. He's meant to be with someone magical too. It's like he's had to dim his light. I mean, you see him coming in like that. He dimmed his light and there's the light. I mean, you can't make it up. Whoever this masculine is has had to dim his light in some sort of way. Or this is symbolic that he's unawakened in this state. And the light means enlightenment and awakening. But for many of them, they've had to possibly dim their light. Maybe their partner didn't dream as big as them or or they had this feeling of like didn't believe in themselves enough. So they did believe in themselves, but they diluted and watered themselves down. Something about that. They just didn't fully execute to, to their fullest. There's always something holding them back. You ever have that where you're just like, you feel somebody just holding back? Like, why? What is this? And they're all like, oh, well, this is my best creation. And you're like, no, it's not. I feel like you're, I feel like you're just like holding something back. Like you're not fully expressing yourself or something. And this is creatively and artistically, it really shows. You can tell when someone's holding back. This could even be like in competition that this person hold them back, themselves back, and not want to compete. They pulled themselves out of the race. Or when they did compete, they kind of gave up along the way and lost, even though they could have they could have won. This th this is underdog. This is an underdog in their life. They've been discounted. They're, they're the fucking underdog. But they really aren't the underdog. But they allowed themselves to be that. But they're not. They're king. They're the winner. They're, they're, they're the big dick energy boss emperor. It's almost like they... They played that role. I don't know why. It's going to be different for each person why they played that role. But his light's on. And his light's on most, most especially when you meet. I'm telling you, that fucking light goes right on the Knight of Swords. Something activates in him where he's sitting dormant. We talked about that in the reading I just did yesterday. Like the connection was dormant. Sorry, the lighting has completely changed. It's the afternoon, right? The, the, the connection was dormant and the, the eclipses may have activated something inside of them, activated the light. Do they become enlightened? Also, is it a reveal? Do you guys end up meeting? Right? It's going to be different for each person. But you can see that he goes from being dormant and no action to full blown charging in like this is Sparta. Do you see what I'm saying? It goes from no action to ah. Hold on, let me try and change the lines. It's just like blinding me, which actually is pretty funny when you think about the energy, right? The light is gonna be blinding. There we go. It was like blinding me for a second. It can't make it up, cause it's like blinding. Are they blinded by the light? Are you guys both blinded by the light? Remember that one reading I did like, uh on a live and talking about like when they see each other they have a spark of light and then um i end up getting the the rebirth the death rebirth card from the light seers and it's that card where they're wearing a hoodie and you can't see the face there's pine trees in there and then a flash of light you just can't make it up 
Is that what that is? What the hell is that? The Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they got to walk away from something in order to get what they really want. Eight of Cups is leaving something behind. They got to leave something behind. Walk away. Look at the fucking eclipse in the picture. Do you see it? Bitch, I told you. There's something about the fucking eclipses. It activates this. It activates their enlightenment. They get clarity. They get truth. They see something. They see it now. I see it now. How weird I'm, I'm putting them backwards. Do you see that? Normally, because the King of Swords was the first card, I would put him here on my left side. Why did I put it backwards? It's like something about the past. And I did channel that before. You got to go back in order to go forward. And it's also the eclipses. We're going to do a little bit of a, a switcheroo of the timelines. And it's also timeline jumps. The past becomes the future. The future becomes the past. Oh, what's that? I don't line the cards up like that. Normally. So read it like this. Something I wish for. Right? Nine of Cups wish. Wishing for, I wish for you too. But I got to walk away from something in order to come towards you. It's almost like something activates in them where they don't want to lose you. Something makes them feel like I want to go after it. They feel inspired or motivated. Oh, see, stuck. I told you that's what they were before. King of Pentacles was stuck. No movement, no action. They didn't say nothing. They didn't approach. They just mm, like this. Mm, there's, there's no, there's nothing. No emotion. They don't show their cards. They don't show their hand. This person didn't show their hand. And then all of a sudden now they do. Nine of Swords. They're worried about something. Worried. They have a worried feeling. Oh, Page of Cups. Worried, so we got to play it cool, casual. Page of Cups, casual, friendship, play it cool. You have the lover's bottom of the deck, and you know what that is, two fuckers being drawn together by the light, the sun in the card. Sun is enlightenment. Two people magnetically drawn together because they belong together. They're tied by the red string of fate. They're, they were worried about something. So I don't know what they were worried about, but it made them be really cool, calm, and collected, real cash. But that's kind of their energy anyways. They're the kind of person, they wouldn't like be all super flirtatious with women. It's just not their vibe. You know how some men are just kind of like that? They're very flirtatious. They're very flamboyant. They're very showboaty. Ugh, I could not be with someone like that. Not at all. Three of Swords. Past, present, future. Three swords, past, present, future. It's almost so weird because it's like every sword had to be, ha every sword had to pierce the heart. Something from the past, something in the present, something in the future. S all of those three energies needed to penetrate the heart in this lifetime. Past, present, future pains and hurts had to happen in this life the crack is how the light gets in but there's something more about this it's almost like when they had to pretend they didn't care it hurt their feelings they have to play it calm and cool calm and collected cool as a cucumber if they had to be like really business like with you it like hurt them to do that. It hurt them to hold back. Some of them held back because they were already with someone else. And it hurt them. They didn't want to, but they had to. Because if not, they feel like their fucking entire life would have fell apart. But that was the point. Their entire life was supposed to fall apart. But they were afraid and they didn't want to. And so they held on for dear life. Till the universe come in there and rip it from their fucking hands. It's a tower. Eclipses were like towers. Tower energy in the tarot deck. Rips it from their fucking hands. While this masculine is going through major transformation. Oh, there's spiritual growth, the hermit. Major spiritual growth. Major. 
emperor, bottom of the deck. They need to become emperor. They need to sit in their throne and claim it. Claim and say, this is what I want, this is what I don't want. The emperor is the one that calls the shots. He's not afraid. He says, this is what the fuck I want. And if you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. The emperor is definitely not a people pleaser. He's not afraid to say, this is what we're going to do. This is what I want. It's almost as if the emperor had his heart cracked open. And it scared him. He was always an emperor, this energy. Remember we talked about that? They're a master of their craft. They're the fucking magician. It, it, like, what they felt scared them. What they feel scares them scares them because they've never felt anything like this six of cups it's so it's past life past present future it's overwhelming for them eight of swords overthinking fell on the king of swords fell right on his ass because that's exactly what the fuck he would do he would overthink he overthought it said i better not there's the counterpart the empress there you are, power couple, emperor and the empress. That's you and them in your highest vibrations. They were almost angry of the fact that they felt some type of emotions. They're not used to that, they're used to I mean, dare I say they're used to people feeling things for the, making people, they, they do the, I can't even talk. They're used to being the ones that make other people feel, not the other way around. And the sheer simple fact that they're going, um, the runner, they ran, they fucking ran. Late night communication. They might look at your shit. If you guys are already in communication, at nighttime, they might look at your shit. Look at your texts, your old emails, your old DMs. They might. Divine Feminine. Oh my God, I told you, this is the Empress. See, reminiscing. They're, they're looking back at shit. Possibly thinking about old conversations if you've had them. Thinking about the way you looked. And the way you looked tonight. Lady in red. Is dancing with me cheek to cheek this is my crimson secret step so it's red it's red themed divine feminine this is the empress this is the divine feminine in her highest frequency and vibration affection and a love offer affection and a love offer a love offer head over heels they're falling in love i mean that's all this boils down to is they felt they fell they felt they fell they felt they ran this comes back again it comes back again somehow it comes back again it comes back again The, the eclipse reactivates it. We keep talking about that. Make a date. Make a date. Free spirit. Someone didn't want to commit. They don't want to commit to anything. Oh my God. What the fuck? Bro, I'm, let's get into this extended. Uh, underneath this video, click the word more. You're going to see all the info. Go to Patreon. No, excuse me. It's not going to be Patreon. I want to use the sexual magic cards. As soon as I said Patreon, I heard, ah! No, we're going to do it on my website. Click below this video, the extended videos, uh, saltwaterhealstarot.com. We're going to do it in the extended special love slash oracle readings. Um, let's go. I I'm going to use the sexual cards, all right? Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And I'll see you there. I love you.